another example of more circle so on the x face i have this uh, normal stress which is 12 ksi we just don't need to worry about the unit here so i'm going to be using only numbers and then the um, shear stress on the x face is uh, four um, which is uh, positive because it's clockwise so clockwise shear stress is used positive and tension is positive so let's plot that point so i got 12 let's say these are 4 8 um, 12 uh, maybe we can go 2 so 4 let's say 2 4 6 8 10 12 so, and then it goes um, 4 uh, positive up so on the x-axis shouldn't say x axis on the horizontal axis x axis is different things in more cycle circle on the horizontal axis we have the normal stress normal stress or uh, sigma on the y axis we have um, vertical axis again i'm wrong should be vertical axis x y is a different thing in more circles so on the vertical x vertical axis we have the shear stress all right so i got two here that's four so this is my point 12 4 so 12 ksi normal stress 4 ksi shear stress now let's plot it on the y face so on the y face i have the uh, tensile stress of 8 ksi which is also positive because it's tension and on the y face i have a counterclockwise shear stress which is negative and that is um, 4 ksi so i go 8 positive so 2 4 6 8 and then 4 negative right there so that's the point which is um, 8 4 um, so positive 8 negative 4 now the um, so the uh, this two point is the if we connect that that's the diameter of the circle more circle so if we draw the circle with this diameter it's gonna look like like this in this case this is the center lies on the horizontal axis so the center location to find that i have a formula for that center location can be calculated using sigma mean plus sigma max minus sigma mean divided by 2 so sigma mean was 8 ksi plus max was 12 minus 8 divided by 2 so that is 2 plus 8 which is 10 so 10 is the center location uh, from the zero point right here so we know this center location now let's calculate the uh, radius so if this is 10 center location so that's 2 so you can say that's 2 each of these cells i have scaled that to 2 and then this height is 4 4 so the radius would be then is square root of 4 is square plus 2 is square uh, which i have got uh, 4.47 so that's the radius now the sigma 1 principal stress that's what you are going to calculate from the Mohr circle so that's my sigma 1 and that's my sigma 2 it doesn't matter which one is 1 which one is 2 that's my sigma 2 so sigma 1 which um, uh, we can calculate so we know that this distance is 10 the circle is 10 away from the origin and then we know the radius so what we can find out so sigma 1 would be then 10 minus the radius 4.47 i have calculated that let's see what we got that 5.53 so that's my sigma 1 now sigma 2 is the 10 plus 4.47 which is 14.47 so the uh, van misses stress i can 
do it here sigma v is van Mises stress the formula is sigma 1 is square plus sigma 2 is square minus sigma 1 sigma 2 so I just plug all this number 4 5.53 square plus 14.47 square minus 5.53 times 14.47 and the square root of all of this and I have calculated this number to be 12.65 uh, 12.65 so the one misses stress uh, normal stress is 12 point sigma v is 12.65 ksi then calculate the van Mises shear stress which is sigma v tau v is the square root of 3 times the shear stress from the maximum shear stress from the Mohr circle so in this case which is the radius 4 point so square root of 3 times 4.47 so one Mises shear stress I have calculated 7.74 ksi now you compare this shear stress and the uh, normal stress with the allowable stress so if these values goes over the allowable sigma for this material then it's gonna break same thing for the shear stress if this goes over the allowable shear value of the material then it will break